Welcome back to another jewelry jar. Thanks so much for being here. I thought I would do one in the afternoon. I do get some viewers from overseas, from across the pond, so to speak, around this time. So I thought I'd take advantage of my lunch hour. Actually, it's past my lunch hour and I just had breakfast. <laughs> for some reason, I just don't get hungry till kind of later in the afternoon. But I am um, on a break right now. Prepared to work all night on some paperwork I need to turn in by tomorrow. So I thought I'd relax a little bit with a jewelry jar. How about it? This is one of the big ones, Miss Vanessa. I'm so glad you're here because I was thinking maybe I'll go make another trek out there. But these are expensive, so I have to really see what they're what they're giving us, right? So uh, we'll see. I mean, I'm kind of confident that we'll find at least eight things worth $10. <laughs> That's all I need, right? The rest will be gravy. This may take us a while, too. This coffee's a little weak. I will have to complain to Robert. You can even tell it's not as dark as I like it. Ah, he's probably watching right now. <laughs> he sometimes watches the videos in the afternoon while he's working. He says he plays them. So... And he doesn't take criticism very well, guys. Were any of you guys married to someone who didn't take criticism very well? Oh my gosh, it's like you really have to. That verbiage for sure. All right, let's get started. Where are my cute little chubby scissors? I'll put it off to the side. We'll let it pour out a little bit. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up as soon as you walk in the door. I really, really do appreciate you being here. If you're new to the channel, this is what we call a mystery jewelry jar or jewelry bag. We've gotten used to calling them jars because they did come in jars. Now they mostly come in bags. Occasionally I see one in a jar. We don't know what's in them. We have found everything from false teeth. <laughs> I've never found false teeth. I think someone did. I've found some pretty crazy things though. Key rings and, you know pieces of ribbon, broken leather pieces or something. But I've also saw, found Bulgari, Bulgari jewelry, Tiffany jewelry, Yerman jewelry, James Avery jewelry, 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold. It's just been fantastic. So there, therein lies the addiction for sure because we just don't know. It's a total gamble. And a gamble is an addiction, isn't it? I, I don't go to Vegas. I don't go anywhere like that or even down here by Louisiana. But this is my gambling addiction right here. So I hope we can get through it within at least an hour, guys. I don't want to keep you that long. And I really need to go put some uh, something in the crock pot. <laughs> I'm getting so creative, right? Cro crock pot cooking. Yeah, I'm thinking of putting some short ribs with, um, you know, some broth and stuff and onions. And we'll have some kind of sandwiches out of that. Okay, the coffee's not too, too bad, but it is a little weak. I normally like it a little stronger. Let's just tear it up, down now, now. Go down this way. I'm so afraid of cutting some of these things. Because it happens. I've damaged things like this trying to cut this bag. I should just... Oh my goodness, I think I see amber. Right off the bat. And it looks like a gold tone or gold, I'm not gold tone, but gold filled. Let me get that, let me get that loop out, guys. Exciting already. Amazing. You get to see on your TV. Isn't that awesome? I love watching people on, on the big screen. Hey, Miss Kathy, how are you? You found, you're the one that found some real, some teeth? Real teeth. Oh my goodness. Well, I used to save my kids' teeth when they were in those little boxes when they were little and they lost their teeth. I think I still have them somewhere. Okay, I do not see a mark, guys, but I, this is definitely amber. It's so interesting, too. I actually see what looks like wings and um, almost like some kind of, well, fossil. That's what it is, right? <laughs> Dinosaur DNA, as my kids say. You can actually see the little insect in there, and I believe it's gold filled. I don't see a mark. Um, it's probably a 120 gold something or the other. Cool. And you know what? I rarely see amber in any kind of gold, even gold tone or anything. So that's exciting. Let me share something really quick with you guys. I thought I would try to incorporate. Y'all can 
um, take it or leave it, but I was thinking I should share a little bit of knowledge in every video. You know how 1928 jewelry is high, highly desirable, right? I love it, especially the vintage ones. They never mark. But there is a distinct little carving on, on almost every piece. And I'm just now noticing it on this barrette. And I bought this barrette in the package. It still had the package. And it's obviously vintage made in France. They do not make barrettes in France like they did back in the day. But see that little scroll work back there? That is totally a hallmark of 1928 jewelry. So when you run into anything that looks like that type of jewelry and it has that little scroll right here on the back of their pieces, you'll you know you're looking at 1928. All right, so there's the little tidbit knowledge knowledge with your jar today. In case you're interested. All right, this is cute. I have one earring there. This oh a fish looks interesting. Is that like for a a croc or something one of those what are they call crocs right the shoes i don't know they have a weird little snap there hey bolo buddies how are you uh, a little hair accessory let me put all of the odds and ends like this i don't know what that is we'll put them on the side i'll say hello to a couple of people in just a minute let's get started a little bit more earrings these are tidbits so i'm gonna put those over there oh that's pretty abalone earring that's darling i love that. i totally love shell earrings because they're so lightweight and they look so nice okay let me open this up just a tad more because it is bursting at the seams this thing weighed six pounds this is one of the heavier ones six pounds don't let anybody fool you that's a lot of jewelry this thing is going to vomit in just a minute Here's something with malachite. Oh, nice. A clip-on earring. Malachite. Mexican. Gorgeous earring. Oh, I hope we get the match. Here's a watch. Some kind of watch. It feels like plastic. I think it's a toy. How cute. I think it's a kid's toy watch. A little Apple watch for a kid. Interesting. Here's a cute one too, uh, kind of a concho style western. This is just a little plastic ring. And let's see. You really want it to come out, don't you? Me too. Let me pour it a little bit more. Because you guys can kind of guess what's in there too when you see it. There we go. Oh, we got a copper cup. See the copper cup in there? That's cute. Beads everywhere. Oh, that's cute. Little storyteller. That is so cute. Oh, I like that. See if there's any marks. Sometimes they're from the Bell Trading Company or something. Let me look at that mark in there, which are highly desirable. This one says Copper by Bell. Amazing. Awesome. Look at that. Let me show you that mark, guys. This is the older Native American pieces. And that's what it's marked. It says Copper by Bell right there. I hope you can read it. Right there. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. I've never even seen this hallmark up close, guys. So, I am super excited, and that does fit. It really looks more like uh, for someone who wears a seven, honestly. I wear a seven and a quarter, but I could squeeze it. It's actually, yeah, I could squeeze it in for sure. It'd be a good fit. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, what else is in here? Another earring. Let's put all the earrings over here till we match them up. Tidbits, more earrings, more earrings, another cute watch. This is very cute. This is Fossil, nice watch, very nice watch. Fossil makes really good watches, very reliable. Very nice uh, look on that one too, I love that. So that's cute. There's some of these service pens. Those are actually collectible as well. 
And uh, we have a leather bracelet. I also like to look at these guys because Avery makes these too. They make the, uh, the chokers and the bracelets in leather. So it's good to take a good look at those. Here's an Avery piece. I recognized it right off the bat. Amen. That is the, I've ha I have actually found these before. I found the earrings and the pendant. I think it's called a mother's love. So that's supposed to look like the mother and child there. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, this is an Avery piece. So exciting. There it is right here on the front. I was looking at it in the back. It's so um, patina, but there it is, Avery 925. And that is the pendant. It's a good $30 right there. Bag is halfway paid. Awesome. <laughs> this looks like sterling too and so cute. It is indeed sterling. I sure hope I find the other one. Oh my goodness, 925 stir it says, or just stir and then copyright. That's a cute little door knocker style. I love that. Oh my goodness, I hope I find that mark. I mean that match. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous cross. It is, is it marked in the back? Let's see what it says. I don't know if it's the, the mark that goes on the cross. Yeah, it's the mark from the cross, not the, um, not a purity mark, but let me look at the bale because I see something on the bale. I'm so excited, guys. Okay, it is gold. It is marked. It is marked, and I can't quite read whether it says 10 or 14, but there is a mark right there in that bale. Right there, and I will test that. Awesome. That's gorgeous. That is just amazing. That is just amazing, guys. I am thrilled. What is this? This is from D&D. &D. It's a beautiful little heart with an angel on it. That's gorgeous. That looks like um, bronze. I like that. Another earring, hairpin, looks like a gold tone chain here, definitely. That'll go to my granddaughter. Cute little butterfly, liking that. Miss Vanessa, did you make another video? Let me say hello to a couple of people. Ditsy Blonde, how are you? And Jennifer, hi. Sanja, good to see you. Good to see you, Miss Liz and Beth, as well as Deborah, Barb. Thank you guys so much for being here. I see Violet as well. All right, um, what's in here? Cute leaf earring. And what's this? Another earring. Another little playful. This is cute though. I like it. I like the colors. Love green and blue together. This is a drawstring bracelet with wood beads. It's so cute. That might be a granddaughter piece too. Here's a stretch ring with a little paisley design. And then these pendants. Kind of a tile thing they do. And a little tiny earring. This is a pretty earring. Some kind of art glass there. That's cute. I'll just try to get what fell out first before I tangle everything up. Oh, is that Tinkerbell? It's a little fairy. That's precious. That's really cute. Very good condition, too. I like these. Very cute. All right. And this looks like silver tone. Some DNA involved. Of course, some hair in there. It's a little stretching. That's cute. Kind of Peridot stones. And what is this? some kind of airing as well very good condition very nice Christmas brooch love the Christmas brooches that's cool oh my goodness that's a nice that's a nice one let's pour out a little more okay this is this a price tag from some beads. I'm going to put these in a bead lot. 
this is the matching earring for this one that's nice i love when we get some matches put that aside here oh my goodness look at this beautiful clip on that's gorgeous <laughs> like a pear shaved diamond that's amazing this is a clip on needs a little cleaning silver tone with a oh this is interesting a little ducky I believe this is uh, glass, ducky earring, shell earring. Those are always nice. I love those. Always cool to get one of those. Oh my goodness, a little bird. Just a lot of tidbits too, guys. I'll just put those in a crafter lot. Stretch bracelet. And more tidbits. Cute pin. Bowling league, I guess. And that one, more tidbits. A couple of bangles here. They're pretty though. This one with the beads is nice and heavy. And the gold is still in really good condition. These look really pretty. I'm actually wearing my bangles today. My Avery bangles. Those are nice. We got a good pile out now. <gasps> nice croc, mock croc bangle. Brown. Hi, Kathleen. We already found Avery, Kathleen. <laughs> Paid for half the bag. Actually, that, that pendant sells for about $80, but I can sell it on eBay or anywhere probably for about $40. This is a J initial. Bangle, that's cute. Very cute little bangle. And this is an interesting bangle. I don't think it's silver. Where's my magnet? I don't think it is. It looks very much like silver tin, but I'll grab a magnet just in case we want to look at other things. It was the the Mother's Love Jude, and I have and I'm glad you're here. I've actually found this one before and I found it with earrings, and I did sell it to a subscriber who inquired as I was hauling it. <laughs> I sold her all three pieces. But yeah, this is the Mother's Love Heart, so it's supposed to be like a mother and child. And uh, I've already showed the, the close-ups of the Hallmark. Avery Sterling, it says. Here's an interesting earring. This one might be Sterling, too. These look like the Mexican um, designs that usually have brass and Sterling, but I don't see a mark on it. So that's interesting. We'll look at that later. We have another stretchy. So basically, we've already paid for the bag. Here's, uh, oh, these are interesting beads. These are really interesting beads. Look at that matrix on this. You did? Oh, awesome. More earrings, odds and ends. I think I'm going to try to put the little silver ones over here. Some of these earrings are so cute. Look at that one. Love that. Look at this bangle. This is cute. Very exotic. Oh, I love this. It's got like little stones in there. Enameling. Looks really nice. Looks like a Chico's, but I don't see a mark. And it's a clamper. Can't beat that. Oh, and I found the Bell Trading Copper piece. Little storyteller. It is marked with Bell Copper on the inside. I've never actually seen a Bell copper hallmark but i did today so that's awesome definitely already paid for the bag and we're not even a quarter in cute bangle loving that bangle we did get a match on the abalone earrings they're over here somewhere and then i'm trying to match this malachite oh it's gorgeous i don't know where the other one is it's here somewhere we'll find it in a minute and i'm hoping to find that sterling one too what's this oh these are cute look at these cape or sweater clips these are heavy and awesome oh my gosh that is so cute i've never seen one so bold and statement like they're usually so prissy and you know dainty with pearls and things this is nice i love that and this is a 79 dollar bag guys this is one of the big ones i scored on monday 
We have some little button covers here. I'll put those over here with tidbits. We have an eagle that looks like silver. Little. I think it has a mark. It looks a little tarnished. Maybe a lower grade silver. Because it really doesn't have the color. But I'm not sure. We'll have to test that. That's pretty nice. All right, this one says sterling silver on the little mark there, on the little package, genuine freshwater pearl sterling silver. They do appear to be freshwater, and they are marked in the back. Those are pretty, and they only have these little simple rubber backs. Well, one of them did, I think it fell. I think it fell when I pulled on it. Oh, well, we'll find it in a minute. Nice score there with the pearls and sterling. And this says fashion earrings, excuse me, fashion earrings. I was drinking my coffee that's way too light today. But let me take one more swig. All right, look at this beautiful bracelet, guys. That's pretty. I love it. Oh my gosh. I won't bother taking off the tape, but that is a gorgeous clamper too look at that and it's kind of an oval design that's a gorgeous bracelet I'll put those in my grab bags those are going to be nice here's a pretty earring I thought I saw sterling on here no it's worn out put that in a crafter lot look I found this little piece of I guess it's a rock or maybe it's aventurine. It's definitely a stone. But it looks like it broke the little... Where it had a hoop. But you know, that could be glued on something. That would make a great craft piece. Repurposed piece. Here's a sterling earring, I think. Sure looks like it. I think I see a stamp on it. Let me look at that. And hope that we find the mate. Yes, it says 925 copyright. Very pretty. I think it's a cabochon. Looks like a really dark um, garnet. Does not look black. I hope I find the mate to that one too. Let's put all the ones we're waiting to find here. Oh my gosh, so many little things. Here's some matched earrings. They're just enameled crosses. Silver tone bangle, enamel bangle, another enamel bangle, and um, another bangle. Some stretchy. These are nice. These are nice. If they're in good condition, I think they're nice. Okay, we got, a, we got a little broken bead there. Got an earring. Tangled up with a net. What a gorgeous earring. That's like a, a CZ, I guess, or a crystal. It's so pretty and shiny. That's pretty. I hope we find that one. Let me look at this. It looks like it's broken, but it is sterling. So that can go in a scrap lot. It is sterling, though. Here is a gorgeous earring, too. This looks like sterling, too. Oh, that's pretty. I hope we find that one. It is sterling. It's marked on the end right here. I hope I find that one too. Let's put that one there. This is silver tone, I believe. Okay, more earrings. Let's put all these earrings over here. Here's a bead. I don't think it's silver or anything. It's glass. Looks like brass. Oh, what a cute brooch. Tennis. Very cool. More tidbits. Pendant. This looks like a moon glow in there. Type of stone. Just a silver tone ring. And 
some wood dangles in the chandelier style. This is gunmetal. Very cool curb gunmetal bangle. I like that. Shell earrings. I think I saw this match, but I love that orange. That's pretty. More earrings. I think we had a match to this one too. A set rather. Interesting earrings. Here's a set of earrings. Cute. They look like marcasite. Faux marcasite. Very cool. Here's a gold hoop. Silver at the top, so I don't believe that's gold. They usually have them completely gold when they are. Precious metal. This one has some wear. It has a tree of life. I don't even think this is an Alex and Ani, but it is that style. So I think I'll put this in a crafter lot too. Someone can put different beads in there. Look really cute. Um, big hoops. Put all the hoops over here. So we match them up. Hoop earrings. Let me put those over there in the corner. It's a kid's ring. Little butterfly. Here's another one of those rings like the one I found the other day. And then this one is stretchy. But the other one is probably stainless or something. It's cute. Oh, pretty earring. That looks like a vintage Haskell or something. Look at that gorgeous pearl in there. Or faux pearl. It is silent. Let's see what it says. And let's see if we let's get the other one. It's a Coro. That's beautiful. Oh, I've never seen such a pretty Coro. I've never seen them so elaborate. Look how darling. Oh, I love that. I hope we find that one. This is gunmetal bangle. These are cute. Um, I saw something that looked like silver in here. No, this is probably not it. I think this is pewter, actually. A little rose earring. Lots of earrings, guys, and pieces. But... We already paid for the bag with the Avery anyway, so let's see what this little silver thing is. That's beautiful. This looks like a Brighton. It is indeed. What a beautiful Brighton bracelet. And in great condition. Do you think that's an anklet? It's awfully big. And look, it's got like a little bell. I don't think it rings though. But like a little acorn or something. That's so cute. Hi, Shirley. Yeah, that's a Brighton. I have never been lucky enough to find a Brighton in such wonderful condition. This one looks brand new. And I believe it is a an anklet. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. There's 93 people watching. I am so honored. Please leave the chat for just a second. Go down over there by the screen. Hit that thumbs up. There's two of them. You can turn one of them blue when you hit it and that really helps the channel grow it helps youtube know you enjoy the content so they share it out to more people that's a gorgeous brighton oh my goodness i don't know i guess it could be a bracelet no it's too big look i mean you could not no there's no way this has to be an anklet how amazing that's an elaborate anklet that's statement anklet this is cute going in the hippie lot Making another hippie lot. Yeah, what is this? Half a sun? Oh, that's cute. You are my sunshine. And that's the other half. How cute is that? Let's undo this one. Let's see what it is. That is so pretty. I hope I do too. I hope I do too, but... I don't know. I have I got every bag that day. <laughs> so I'm hoping if it's not in this one, it's in the other six. Because this is the these are the ones I got after they reopened. Alright, it's just silver tone. It's darling. I think it actually used to be yellow or like a yellow gold, gold tone. That's a darling necklace. These are pretty earrings. I love those. They're very light. We did get a match on these that I thought were Mexican sterling. No, they aren't matched. Look. One of them is crimped and the other one isn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to have to look closer now. Let me see what else is here. Some more earrings. More tidbits. Look at all that. 
Put the hoops back there. Just tons of earrings, guys. Some stones. That actually looks... No, it just looks like, I think, acrylic. Silver. This looks like sterling. They're made really, really nicely. It's a great bag so far, for sure. Here's a cute earring. This is sterling hair. The bracelet tennis. It looks like a tennis racket. Cute earring. And here's a tennis racket sterling bracelet charm. How cool. Anybody play tennis? Gosh, I think I've held a tennis racket once. And we have a tennis court here. But my kids are the only ones who ever... They actually took lessons during um, during the summers. I used to always put them in camps, uh, YMCA camps and all that. So they learned to play tennis and all that wonderful stuff. I never did. Yeah, it is Mark Sterling. That is so cool. I'm trying to see if it's a an Avery charm or anything because it's very nicely made. But it looks like it just says Sterling. Very cool. And then the necklace, or rather chain, is also sterling. 925 Italy. That's cute. I'm going to put the sterling aside. And what is this? That's a pretty bracelet with some hearts and a cross. Very nicely made, too. Silver tone. Not real leather, but very nice. And oh my goodness, here's a gold tone bangle. You can tell when I don't sometimes I don't even bother really using the magnet. There's something really sleek about gold that you see when you see real gold. It's very smooth. It usually won't be very grainy or anything. So yeah, I could tell that one was not, but it's in very good condition. Very nice. Another earring. It's a cute earring. It's open in the back too. I don't think it's gold. I would think they would make a real gold earring with a much more secure hook. But it's interesting that they did open the stone area to let in light. I'll take a better look at that anyway. Ooh, these are cute. Oh, these are very cute. These almost look like an Avon or a Sarah Coventry or something. And I'm glad they came out together. Those are gorgeous. Gold, champagne, rose or blush, and white pearls, and then a gold bead, too. Those are really, really pretty. I love those. I have found this turtle before. He is so cute. I think I found him in earrings in one of the other jars. Look at that. He's like his his little shell is like sequins. Really pretty. That's a beautiful one too. That's Claire's. <laughs> That'll be in the grandchild lot. And I am MIS top dog, whatever that means. Maybe it's a training center or something for the pups. We're big on that in this side of town. We have so many dog training schools dog schools obedience schools this is pretty too guys look at that earring that's really pretty i don't see a mark on it let me look at the tip though oh my gosh nope nothing marked on that but cute nonetheless then we have some hook loops verna i'm so glad you're here more of these service pins. I'll put those aside. Halloween earrings. Those are cute. Okay, let's look at the big stuff. Oh, we did get a match on the nautical ones. Very nice. I love when I get these earrings matched up. So that's good. We got a boot. A stocking. Got another chain right here. Let's see what this is. Sometimes this sterling is so new it really fools you. You think it might be just silver tone. Just have to take a look. 
This one is a heart. Looks like it says something on there. It says handmade. What does it say? A mother holds a child's hand for a short time. You know that saying. It's really pretty. Let me look at the marks, though, on the ends because it really suspiciously looking like sterling to me. I don't see anything. I don't see anything on it, but it's not sticking. I may just not see it, so I'll have to put that in the sterling to test further. Further inspection, more beads. Is this is a charm bracelet. A little musical charm bracelet. This looks like an interesting earring, too. It is sterling as well. Mark at the very bottom there. Here's a little kid's charm bracelet. Musical theme, really cute. Hearts and music notes, piano and such. All right, a little beaded bracelet. The green stone rings are blinding me where? That I'm wearing <laughs> or this one? <laughs> That's blinding me right there. Mine are, are turquoise. Yeah. Swimming. Earrings. Oh, what is this? So many earrings, guys. Oh my gosh. I guess I'll start piling them into colors. I did get a match on this one. Love this one. These, rather. Very pretty. I don't know if they're sterling. They sure look like it. They're so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. These are beautiful. Here's some rings. This one says love. And it's enameled. It looks like sterling, honestly. <laughs> it looks like a 19th. You know, remember, remember when everybody had those love rings with the little diamond in the middle and you could get a boyfriend to buy them for you? <laughs> they, were, they were so cute. I would love to have one now. Oh, I don't see a mark. It's cute, though. Yeah, they were really popular. There's a ring there. Put some rings over here. There's that uh, coro. Trying to find that. Here's a boat. Wow, that almost looks like 22 karat gold. Look at that. That is super yellow, guys. I'm going to look at that one. It's a ship, right? A little. Oh my goodness. No sticking on this baby. It's got a big bail and then it's like attached to a safety pin. Let's see what it says. Interesting. Do not see anything on the bail. I do see something in back. You see back there? Can you see it? There's something there. I don't know what it says. I don't know. 18. Wow. Yeah, it says 18. And this thing is actually movable. 18C. 18 carat, but with a C. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna test it. But it is marked. It, it might be a foreign mark, right? But do you see it there? 18C. Doubled the price of the bag now. Amen. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. First bag that I spent $80 after this uh Reopening. Mm. Very nice. It is weighty too, guys. It is not flimsy. Look at all that filigree work. Very, very nice. Some kind of, it almost looks Italian, don't you think? Like a gondola or something? Oh my gosh, that's exciting. Super exciting on that. And here is a necklace. Oh wow, that was so cool to find that. I'm telling you. Because believe me, you spend this much on jars, you're like, oh, did I do the right thing? But then 
I think, well, I really only need to find 10 things that are worth, you know, eight things that are worth $10. This is pretty. And I think I found that already. This is a nice one. I love this color. Kind of a minty green. They're crystal. They're glass. They're beautiful. <laughs> I, I actually had this one up for auction and no one took it. Uh, but now I told them at my auction. Guys, I have an auction only on Facebook. If you're new and you don't know, there's always information in the in the uh, description box. But I had it on Sunday this time instead, instead of Saturday. And I actually offered this gorgeous ring. I love this one. And there were no takers. And then I even told the participants, I said, you know what? I'm changing my mind now. Now I'm falling in love with it and I won't bring it back. Because that's just the way I am. Some days I'm... Yeah, I'll sell it. And then the following week, no, I'm not going to sell it this week. I actually want to wear it a few more times. <laughs> I've done that with several items. It's crazy. Here's Eeyore. Oh, this is so cute. And it's got the letter E. I'll have to give this to my middle daughter. She loves Eeyore. Still does. Still loves Eeyore very much. So that'll be hers. All right, here's a piece that I think was part of an earring. This will be great in an earring, I mean, in a crafter lot or a rhinestone lot, because I do rhinestone lots too. Sorry about that. That'll definitely be for a rhinestone lot. Little earrings here. Let me put the silver ones. See, these are sterling. I'm still trying to find those. Here's a guess. Pretty watch. Pretty watch. All my cousins were wearing men's watches when I saw them on Saturday. They looked so cute, and they were all oversized like this. I mean, it could have been men's or, or women's. I'm not sure. But they look so cute. That's a darling watch. Really cool. I need to get batteries. I need to get batteries. I really do. Oh, here's the match to this one. This one was sterling with, I believe, garnets. These are sterling with garnets. Finally got a match on those. They are marked in the back, sterling. And they don't look like onyx. They really do. Maybe they are, but I, I see a little red in them, but it could be my lights. Very nice earrings. I love those. Okay, a little piece of shell there. Put that in the tidbits. Lots of stuff like that. This looks like a Brighton too. Or it could be a sterling cross earring. I don't know. Let me see if I see a mark. No, it's silver tone. I'll put that with silver there. Travel pins. This is cute. Not stretch. It is on a sterling finding. Very nice. These are kind of mirror light crystals. I guess like a hematite or something. Very pretty little bracelet, and it does have a sterling finding on that. Cute. And what is this? What in the world is this, guys? Look, it's like it's got onyx, and I, I can swear it's sterling, but I don't know what it is. Could it be a stick pin? Can you guys see that? Not sticking. You can see the onyx on it with a sawtooth bezel setting as well. I'll bet it was a stick pin and maybe something goes at the end. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right, more little tidbits and broken things. Another ring. This is silver tone. Got a few rings over here. And I don't know, I think these, I keep thinking these are for wine glasses. The bad juju, the onyx. Oh, look, this was pretty. I saw this. I thought this was interesting. This is bronze. Super heavy, guys. Little hearts. What a cute necklace. And this polishes up so nice. They look really pretty on. That's a pretty bracelet. Very nice. More of these, um, more of these um, service pins are showing up, but some of them turn out to be gold filled, or even gold sometimes. Look, this one even looks like it has a diamond. 
So don't scoff at these guys. You can sell them. You can resell them. This one does have a little mark. I cannot read it. Very interesting though. And I don't think it's a diamond. Looks a little bit too clear to be a diamond. But very nice. And this is like the back of an earring, a little jacket. Some gold earrings. Let me put those aside. The silver ones over there. Silver earrings. What is this, a longhorn? A little longhorn earring. That's cute. Um, let's see. Here's a long necklace with copper and shell. Very pretty. With strings. I love that. That's cute. Very nice. Hi, Yvonne. How are you? We're digging for treasure in a jewelry box. And I was, I was saying, guys, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because we do jewelry jar and jarrings quite often. We do thrift hauls. We do thrift excursions, thrift with me, live, sometimes recorded. Here's another ducky, guys. We have two now. They're different, though. So if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the um, bell for notifications as well. And that'll tell you when we're live or when we do a new video. This is gorgeous. It is a pendant. Avery pendant, pristine, bright, and anklet, possibly 20. Yep. Thank you so much for the summary. <laughs> You're so sweet. This is Avon. You're so sweet, Miss Kathy. Yes, that's pretty much she summarized it right there. Got some interesting beads, too. Lots of nice tidbits for the crafters. For sure. More earrings. I'm just trying to look here because I always leave something behind in these little piles. Then I wind up showing you like those amber earrings the other day. Here's a copper ring. I don't know if it's real copper. It actually looks like it may not be. So I'm not going to get too excited about that. Oh, we got the bell copper cuff, too, with the mark. Bell copper on it. Storyteller cuff. Awesome. This is an awesome earring, too. This looks like a Renoir or something. Let me see what it says. Is it Coro, too? Let's see. Oh, let me see. And I hope, yeah, it is a Renoir. I know my copper jewelry. That's so cute. It looks like it has snowflakes on it. Oh my gosh, I hope I find the other one to that too. So we have a few sterling pieces that have not made it up, but we have hope that they will because I bought out every jewelry jar that day. I love this earring. Look at that gorgeous face. It looks like a 70s Beaver model or like the ones that I have right there in my background. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Okay, we did have a match to these, so that's always nice to match them up for sure. Here's a cute bracelet, still packaged from I don't know where, but it's kind of a Western motif. Kind of a faux, it's not stretched, which is fabulous. It's got, a, uh, I guess, a closure and kind of a concho style Western. Southwest look there. Another cute watch. What? What a pretty watch. It's nice and heavy polka dots. That's darling. I love that. Do a good amount on these, though they need a good bath. So that's nice. More matched earrings. And we did get the cute mask matched up, I believe. Yeah. Cute ones. Aren't those darling? Those are so 70s to me. Look, even the back has little bows or butterflies. I can't quite tell. Very cool. Is that a 1980s watch? What? Lots of this stuff, guys. Good bits here and there. Um, more earrings. Lots of earrings in here, I'm telling you. But they've turned out nice, and I hope we match up some more. Put silver on this side, copper there. More silver, more silver. An elephant earring, that's cute. Here's, um, that's what is this? The uh, Damascene, isn't it? But that, look, it's got a beautiful little scene there. That's a pendant or part of an earring. And it just has a little bit of um, 
I don't know, some kind of stain there or something. Doesn't really look like wear. I don't know what that is. More earrings. Look at that. See toggles and everything for the crafter in here, guys. These are matched. Nice. Little snowflake. Silver tone pendant. More earrings. My gosh, so many pieces. I'm going to just try to shuffle through these little pieces and we can get to the big stuff in just a minute. Oh, here's a little fetish bird. Cute, cute, cute. On little wire. Those are pretty. I think they're just silver tone, but look how pretty. That is abalone. That's really a nice one. I hope we get the match to that. Here's another packaged item with earrings, chunky silver. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. I do appreciate it very much. Ooh, there's a lot of jewelry in here. It really is, but we'll get through it. We will get through it. I'll try to rush a little bit more. This is cute. This little, um, what is it called? Twist back. No mark on it, it's blue, just a blue glass stone on that. And I don't know how this, oh, this is an earring in here. It's just tangled up with the necklace, little green earring. This is a gold tone necklace. Nice drop on that. I don't want to leave any of these behind though, because many times they are all these tiny little earrings. I've even found gold the other day. I found amber and sterling. So I really want to take a look at them. Is that a frog? That's cute. It's like a little charm that you can put on something. Is it buffering, guys? I'm sorry. Let me know how that stream is. I can always come back. This is 925. It's marked in the back. It's got a peridot stone. Because we can always come back tomorrow, later tonight. We can finish it tonight if you guys are getting too much lag. This is Sterling too. Little earring. Let me know in the chat. Good, good, I'm glad. This one does say Sterling. It also says BSU. Copyright. BS, no, BSD. BSD, that's the mark right there. So, not sure who that is, but that's a pretty one. Hope we find that. Here's a piece of sterling as well. Nice abalone. Oh my gosh, this bag has paid for itself twice already, right? It was a $79 bag. The Avery piece alone is worth over $80. 40, 35 to 40, maybe probably 40 on the second market. So definitely have made my money back. This one's marked ATE Mexico 925. That's a super piece, guys. Look at that huge hunk of sterling and wonderful abalone on that. Love that. All right, that's a good piece for sure. Some broken tidbits here. Look at this gorgeous piece of cloisonne. This is a pendant, and it's a butterfly. Can you guys see that? That's beautiful. Flowers on one side. My ring light's in the way. Flowers on one side. And um, butterfly on the other. Gorgeous. Pendant. That's pretty. Okay, let me go back out a bit. Here's an interesting charm. I don't know what state that is. Arkansas. It is sterling, I'm sure. Arkansas, Mark Sterling, NG, state of Arkansas, right? Yeah, I think that's what it says. Okay. More earrings. Here's a silver chain, very heavy. Let's see what it says. It has a mark on here. It looks like silver tone. Very nice rope chain. Monet. 
Very nice. Look, it's actually graduated. That's really cool. That is a very nice chain. It really is. It's Marc Monet. It's got the little hang tag Monet. Nice as well. There's another chain. Very pretty little infinity rhinestone in the front there. There's a little gold band. Cuff link, look at that. It's got mother of pearl. One cuff link so far. Here's an Olympic torch pin. Some kind of torch. I don't know if it's Olympics or not. All right, here is another pretty guest watch in white. There is nowhere on this one. That is so cute. Rose gold rhinestones on it as well. Oh, it's actually um, breast cancer awareness. It has the pink ribbon. That is so pretty. That is really nice. And no wear on that, guys. Not running at the moment. Needs a battery, I'm sure. Those are cute earrings, too. Put all those gold earrings over there. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this has rhinestones in the inside. Look at this. I don't think you can open it, but you can shake it. It's got, and it is glass. Very nice. Let me, yeah. And it, they put it on another chain or it either faded out. Chain's a little bit darker than the metal on that, but that's pretty, needs a new chain. All right, what is this? Oh, another pretty pendant. This one, it's interesting what they're doing with abalone, guys. They're actually putting it in with a coating. This is genuine abalone. You can see it. Be sure and hit that thumbs up, guys, as you walk in the door. If you got to go, do it before you leave. really helps grow the channel, and I really do appreciate it when you do that. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment if you come back and see this later. And subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell, too, and um, that will notify you when we are live. Oh, we have a new fresh video up. This is so cute, guys. So, yeah, real abalone. Then they put it, encased it in some glass. In this case, pink glass. Gave it a really nice look. I like it. And it's a great chain. Toggled. So you can even wear, I guess you could toggle it in the front. Like this. And that's a great look. It really is. That's pretty. It's like a, like a watermelon color. Gorgeous. Here's some jasper, I believe. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. That is nice. Look at that. It's domed. How interesting is that? That is really nice. And here are the other beads. I think these are silver tone cones. They had a nice look though, don't they? That's really pretty. Here's a pretty gold mesh. And this is Napier or Monet. I can't read it. I think it's Avon. Very nice mesh. Yeah, Avon. SP it says. <clears throat> I'm not sure what that means, but that's a beautiful chain. SB. Thank you guys again for joining. I do appreciate it. Looks like we're going to be on a good hour and a half. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did see this one earlier. This one's beautiful. We'll match all those earrings up later. Here's a pretty chain too. Little staggered chains there. White, silver, just gorgeous. Very nice piece too. These are cute earrings. That chain got stuck to my magnet. That's cute. But I think, I don't know, I still don't know if these are for glasses or earrings. For your wine glass or what? More beads, bangles. Lots of little tidbits in here. This looks like sterling. It is a sterling bracelet. Nice flat herringbone here. Very nice. 
just needs to be polished. That's really pretty. Not broken either. Not broken either. Nice. Okay, here is a, a choker by, I cannot read that brand. These appear to be some kind of genuine stones. Looks like it was a 16 inch necklace and it looks like it may have had a main piece there, a pendant that has fallen. So I'm not sure what those beads are. They are very interesting. They're cold. Rosary style links. Cool. To get the other silver cross for these earrings over here. So those are matched. The gold ones are matched too. I'm glad we're matching the earrings. Awesome. So we got these two matched. Let me put these aside. Very nice. Oh, look at this. That's beautiful. Look, that got a little moon glow dangle on it. That's cute. That's really pretty. And that is by Avon as well. I can't tell what it says. No, it is by Anne. Hmm, I can't tell. Vin Vin. I don't know. It's got a rose and then it's got two initials VN or AV. Can't quite tell what it says. More earrings. Bracelet. Nice bracelet, guys. This is the clasp right here. The rose. So that's cool. More silver earrings. Gold earrings. Um, I'm not sure what that is. It might be a ring with a little dangle on it. It's got a cat, kind of like that, uh, what's that lady's name? Samara, I think. I don't know. She's some kind of designer. Looks like her logo. Well, these are cute, too. These look vintage, too. Some wear on them, too. Little eye bracelet there. Hematite. Here's a ring. Just a band. I don't think it's gold or silver. And we did get another match on the earrings there. This one matches the bracelet. Nice. Interesting. All of these are pin set, guys. Very exotic beads. They are very exotic and very heavy. This is heavy. This is a heavy piece with a matching bracelet too. Nice. Here's the elephant. These are so cute. Little silver earrings. And then we have a beautiful owl with some faux turquoise black eyes. He does have his chain. Very nice. Statement piece here. Pretty colors, rhinestones, is this? Yeah, all the rhinestones are there. I thought it might be broken there, but it's not. That's a pretty piece. Not overly dramatic. Oh, look at this. That's a stretch, it's got a double string in there. That's so cool. It almost looks like a bangle when you put it on. It retains its shape. I think I see another Avery piece right here. No, 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 it's not. It's something else. I saw this heart. I thought, could that be Avery? Because it looks like it's signed, but let me see. Is this Brighton? I don't know. It's awfully elaborate. It says, I love you, Mom. Very cute. It does have some wear, though. No, I don't think it's Brighton. That's a pretty bracelet. Too bad it's a little worn. There might be some pieces that are salvageable, though, for a crafty lot. Okay, put that over there. That's so cool. Yeah, that's a nice bracelet. Here's a little brooch. I am... 
I don't know, maybe a school pen or something. Here's another elephant. No, it's a puppy, but he's missing a couple of stones. Silver tone puppy pendant. Another watch. This one, I think it's Geneva or something. Flashy gold watch there. These were matched. These are matched. Lots of matched earrings. I'm super happy with this bag because I can't stand unmatched earrings. <laughs> You're like, what do I do with all these unmatched earrings? But a lot of them are coming up matched. And of course, we already found some, some good stuff in here. So that's nice. Oh, this is a pretty watch. Very good condition. This is a Karahi or something. Quartz. This looks like a well-made watch. Very nice clamper style. Oh, I love that. That's pretty. Now that looks like jewelry, right? <laughs> Blends in with your bangles and everything. That's gorgeous. Looks like a brooch in here. A little Christmas brooch. Aw, cute. Kitty cat brooch. AB stone. Dangle here. Very sweet. Very sweet. That's the second Christmas brooch. We got another one earlier. And let me just put some of these earrings aside so I can look through them a little bit. This is a pretty earring. Very pretty. Kind of a cognac color. Cool. That is so cool. I love some of these post earrings. They're so pretty. What is this? A horse? A lion. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Looks like some kind of old coin or something. I think it's pewter. It is a pendant. I thought it was an earring. That's gorgeous. That is really pretty. That is really pretty. I'm going to put that on my phone case since I'm a Leo. I have another one that, but I had to tear, throw away that phone case. It was pretty messed up. So I got a new phone case and I'm going to decorate it with new things. All right, I think we got a match on these somewhere. Gold hoop, little stretch bracelet. These are crystal, so that's pretty. I don't think there's anything missing on that. Nice one. More of these chandelier style. I love tortoise shell, faux tortoise shell. This is, I don't know, is that Avon? Let me see what it says. It's a pretty piece and very good condition. NRQ. Not sure what that is, but that's gorgeous. That's a really, really nice piece. Long necklace. Rolo style chain on that. Really pretty links of faux tortoise shell. Super cute. Love that. Hey Glenn, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Hope you're doing well. Oh, look at these. Chanel, probably fake. Have to take a look at those. They actually look really nicely made. So I'm going to take a look at those and maybe we'll find a, another pair. Or the matching pair. This one looks like it broke off of something. I'm going to go on the crafter. Here is uh, another interesting earring, but it's broken. This one does not appear to be sterling. The other one, I'm still hoping we will find the mate for it. Okay. That's, oh my gosh, so many, so many tidbits. Another rhinestone to add to the rhinestone lot. All of this will go in my rhinestone lot. Okay. Let me pour out some more things. So we can get to, to be here two hours. So. I gotta go put that crock pot on. <laughs> but I don't want to be, I don't know, I have enough to remember without having to leave this box half done, this jar. Look at this old watch, guys. It is worn, torn, and ready for the recycle bin. Wow. <laughs> and this one, too. I saw this from the bag and I was like, what? But people use these things for crafting, for steampunks, jewelry, and all kinds of stuff. So, 
All right, we got a watch here. This looks like a pretty watch too. Where's this from? It's got a nice face. Very nice face, like a abalone color. A Kribos, probably just an all brand. But it is a pretty watch. Another Christmas thing here. What is this? A, it's an earring. A little snowman family. Oh, I hope we find that coral and that other malachite. Here's an old stretchy bracelet. I thought it was vintage, so it's not old. But it, it is pretty worn. So I'll probably put that in a crafter lot. Somebody can take that apart and work with it. A very heavy earring, gold tone. Button covers. More interesting earrings though. These are really interesting looking with that nail head. I, always, I love that design. Okay, what is this? Oh, look at this. It's an earring with a monogram. Sterling, and they're even engraved in the back. Looks like it's faded away, but I think it said Hartford or Clifford or something. Those are so pretty. Those can always be buffed out, so we'll hope we find the match. Like I said, I did buy all the bags that day, so they may show up in another bag always in my heart is this a spinner yeah it is oh i love these these are great fidget rings it's a gold tone maybe even a stainless steel kind of looks like stainless yeah and i think it even says stainless sorry about that yeah jad stainless very cool and these you can it actually spins in the middle so that's a great fidget ring. Always in my heart, that one says. More pieces of everything here, guys. Well, that earring weighs a ton. I don't know how anybody could wear that. More to add to the rhinestone. Harvest. If I don't find the meat. This is not real copper, I don't believe. Feels a little lightweight to be copper. Nice look, though. Yeah, it's a little necklace with a chain. Huge watch. What in the world? Very worn. I don't know. Probably put that in a crafter lot as well, or a watch lot. There's a tiny little ring. Gold tone. more earrings some of these I'm just seeing they don't look like they're matching this one looks like sterling it is it looks like a um, not a star sapphire but maybe a blue like a moon glow or something in there I think it is sterling yeah it's marked at the top 925 right there close to the the hook it's marked 925 so there's another hopeful. Here's a pretty purple. Oh wait, there it is. Oh, it's just a little bead. It was inside this thing and it looked like it was part of it. It was inside this, it was so crazy. <laughs> so I thought it was a pendant. Okay, so, somebody's kids. I hate that, I hate seeing that. Here's a stretch bracelet. Here's a Dior. Obviously counterfeit. Dior earring. That's a weird earring. I think someone put that together. My hands are filthy already. Oh my goodness. Here's something. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Egyptian maybe. <laughs> Dependent. Yeah. Okay. Another button cover? That's weird. Wait, 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 wait. Earring's in there. It's stuck. Okay. There was a little earring and it's stuck inside a button cover. Oh my goodness, lots of jewelry. Wow. Let me look at this. This is, I think, uh, yeah, definitely faux turquoise. Cute look, though. You can tell by the matrix. Way too contrived. This is um, 
an acrylic bead. It's a pretty look though. Yeah, Cobra Snake. Very pretty look. And it's got a heart toggle. Closure. So that's a nice look. It really is. But not real turquoise. We did get a match on these. Blue earrings. These right here. These are also a faux turquoise. Pretty look as well. I like that. Here's a cute bangle. This is the one that has the heart. Have you? I've heard somebody who collected these. I forgot who it was. That they have that little heart out, heart cut out. I think it's. Um, could it be Anita? I forgot. Somebody liked them because they had that little heart cut out. It's a nice bangle. There's a stretch. Big bolt. Look. Oh my goodness. So much jewelry around me. So my bad, guys. Okay, what is this? This looks like sterling as well, but I'm not sure. Let me look at it a little closer. No, I don't believe it is. It really looked like it from the back. No, it's silver tone. Oh, here's one of those hand-painted Russian, I think. Are they Russian? Oh my goodness, this one has a little tag. Germany. You made in the USSR, and then this one came off. So I think that tag was in there too. And it does say handmade. And made in the USSR. Boy. <laughs> Reminds me of that Beatles too. That's pretty. Definitely a beautiful vintage piece. Oh my goodness. And all of that original tagging. Fabulous. Kapom. Oh, it says something. Made in Russia. Yeah. Russia. All right. Well, that's a score, too. What is this? What a cute wire wrapping they did on this thing. So I think this is glass. That's a good job they did on that, though. That looks cool. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can get that earring out. This is silver tone. A little fleur de lis silver tone, but this gold chain is really cool. I like the way they did that. That's pretty. That's a pretty design. On a nice chain. Very nice. More earrings. Gold earrings. There's some that are matching for sure. Butterfly. More of these rings. These are all silver tone rings or gold tone. Another earring there. Here is um, Charm T. I don't think this is sterling. No. Little kid. Little kid earring. Matching earrings here. And here's a big bracelet. I think it's missing the pearls. Yeah, some of the pearls fell out, but you can always replace this with something else. So that's a good crafter piece right here. Someone can find something else to put on there. Here is a gold chain. Looks like gold tone. I don't know if it says Korea or something there, but I don't believe it's gold. The chain is not sticking, but the, uh, yeah, it says Korea. Vintage piece there. Interesting pendant. A little brass horn. More matching earrings. And let me see more rings. This is also gold tone. A little rosette design on that. Oh, this is cute. I think this is a little sterling ring. Oh, this is a perfect little halfway ring. Look at that. It's just a heart. That's cute. That is super cute. It's definitely sterling. I can tell by looking at it. And it is marked.
sterling on the inside with words. Very cool. That's very cool. All right. Copper tidbits there. Let's see what's here. Oh my gosh, so much to look through, guys. I'm going to probably let you go in just a minute because I really have to look through all these little tiny things <laughs> to see what's in it. But look at this cute little dolphin brooch. This one's Mark II, I think, in the corner. It is sterling. Awesome. Another sterling piece, a beautiful dolphin with a brushed body, high polish fins. Let me see exactly what it says. It does say bow sterling on it, right there by the tail. So what a great bag. Worth every bit and more of the $80 I invested in this bag, for sure. This is missing some pieces, just a little faux ring, more matching earrings. I just look through here. See how everything falls right here, too? So I have to look through all of that. I do not see the Malachite earring right now or that other sterling earring. This is an old watch. Lots of junky pieces too, guys. That's what we get. We get a lot of junk, but we got a lot of good stuff too. Here's a stretchy cross. Nice bracelet. Still good and stretchy. That's pretty. And um, wow, I just, I don't know. <laughs> This looks like it might be gold. Let me look at this one. Wow, there's still 125 people here. We may, we can keep going then. The heck with it. <laughs> this looks like gold, guys. I'm going to look it up. Look at it right here. Let me see what I see. Don't see. Oh, we did find some 18 karat gold, so that was nice too. Hey, pups, what's up, knives? What's up? I don't see anything, but sometimes these marks... Oh, here it is. 14K. Bingo! Another, what, $25 probably in, just in scrap. But it is 14K. It is so, so small. It's right there. Be very careful when you find these because they are often marked in the most hidden places. But there it is there on the band. 14 karat. On the bar. Hope you guys can see it. Awesome. Be nice to find the other one, too. You never know. It may show up, but either way, that's a good $25, $30 in scrap value alone. Maybe even more. I haven't checked the price of gold lately. But nice. See, I was already going to let you go. I guess I won't. <laughs> Florida Lee necklace. Very cool. like that, too. But all these tiny things. You really need to look through them. And... Um, Nice earrings here. I don't think these are marked. Very good condition. Clip-on earrings. And broken earrings. A little mask. A little Hello Kitty ring. Very cool. Cute glitter face. Oh my goodness gracious. We did match these, which I really liked these right here. Those are pretty. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and haven't done so. Please take the time to do it today so you won't miss any of the videos that I put out. If you hit the uh, notification bell, you will get that notification. I think these are paparazzi. They're pretty, though. Those are really cute. And I don't know what that is. Lots of little tidbits for sure, guys. Let me just look. Oh, here's a necklace. Black or gunmetal. Very pretty. They are glass beads. Choker, probably a 15 or 16 inch there. And that's cute. Oh, that's a pretty necklace. Bracelet. Sea stars, crystals, kind of AB. Very cute. That's a nice one. I like it. What is this over here? Another earring. Um, 
This looks like something for seniors or something. It looks like, like a class symbol there, class ring symbol. Okay, let's see what else is here. Gold tone earring. Another Chanel. This is a fake as well. Those come pretty often these days. Here's a snake ring. Just uh, like a pot metal. Here's the other earring that was marked with the monogram. They're so pretty though. So we have a match on those, I believe. Yeah, so I'm going to keep looking through here, guys. I will update you on anything I find on Armadillo. That'll look good on a cowboy hat. And here's another ring. Silver tone. So that we can go on with our day. I can go back to work and do what I have to do. I appreciate you so much. Come back for another video very soon. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up on the way out. And I will update you on anything that I find because I'm finding a lot of cool stuff just everywhere. And it's just going to take another hour so we don't have that time. But I hope you had as much fun as I did. Please come back for another one. I'll talk to you then. Have a blessed Monday. Bye. Or Tuesday. <laughs> My days are all marled. Have a wonderful Tuesday, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.